A classic example is Lucy. In fact, Lucy is representative of what we often find. Many people think that she is this complete skeleton of this beautifully preserved hominid, and she is, except that we only have about 40% of Lucy's skeleton. And when they first discovered Lucy's bones, they were scattered across a hillside. In fact, one of Lucy's discoverers said that it was very likely that in the next rainstorm, many of her bones might have been washed away. So one of the big questions relating to Lucy is whether or not this collection of bones that we assign to Lucy actually belong to only one individual or even a single species. So for example, a couple years ago, it was discovered that one of the bones that we include in this fossil that we name Lucy actually belong to something like a modern ape and was certainly not from a hominid australopithecine. So there's this question of whether or not the bones that we ascribe to Lucy actually belong to a single individual or even a single species. Now the classic rejoinder is that none of Lucy's bones in this collection of fossils appear duplicated and that suggests maybe they do belong to one individual but we don't really know that for sure and it's difficult to make a clear, uh, a clear cut case that Lucy's fossil actually belonged to one single individual organism.